Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Bought another parts kit and you've dug yourself into a deep hole with the missus? We've got a solution for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Insert funny shovel pun here. We've got some cool stuff to show you today. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Apex Gun Parts you poop. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the Apex Gun Parts YouTube channel, where the only thing better than buying a new parts kit is burying it in your backyard. All right, so today we wanted to make a quick video talking about some actually pretty cool entrenching tools and shovels we are going to start carrying on the website. I want to go over these with you because if you are a big military collector and you like anything from the World War I, World War II era, these are actually pretty cool and might be a cool accessory to have. All right, so let's quickly go over some of these. Now, in front of me here, you can see some of the more modern standard entrenching tools that you've seen, much GIs carrying around um, in various modern conflicts, the ones that fold up. Pretty cool, and it's a good little piece of kit to keep in your SUV if you're out screwing around in the mountains. Nice little accessory to have, but what we also have are some really cool pieces of history from World War I and World War II. Now, for example, here, I've got this little entrenching tool, and if I look on the tag here, I can see that it, this is from World War II, and it was a finish issue shovel, which actually, if I look on the side here, I can see this little SA marking showing that it's finished. Now, we've got a huge selection of these, and all of them are a little bit different. You can see this one here has some of this classic green finish paint. This paint is very um, standard for some of the World War II stuff. We have like these finished Maxim cans you can see on our website, same type of green pretty cool and we've also got some other variants of shovels like this guy here has that SA marking but this one is actually a World War One Russian issue one you can see some of the markings are actually on the side of the shovel here and this one is stamped 1916 so pretty amazing that these survived that long and it's a pretty cool piece of history this shovel in particular has a pretty sharp edge so I'm sure these were used as um, melee weapons at some point during World War I or World War II. Kind of makes Battlefield V a little bit more accurate. But uh, anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> you can see some of the differences between these different listings actually is the rivet patterns. Some of them have these bends over going over the back, whereas this one, the bends go over the front. The rivets are different and the rivets are actually ground flat on the back. And this last one here, which I believe is another finished one. This is a pre-World War II infantry shovel. You can see the handle's different. Instead of having a metal bracket that helps support it, it's just wood. And you can see different little interesting details like a different rivet pattern. This one beds forward, but it does have the rivets on the back. Pretty cool to see all the differences. And there are so many different ones that we have. It's kind of a cool little collector's thing to have and say like, hey, this is from World War I. This is what the troops were issued in Finland and Russia. Pretty cool to have. One last thing I want to mention about these shovels is these are actually extremely well made. You could probably even use these camping, going out in the woods, chopping some wood. These have really nice hardened steel pieces on them and they're just really great quality and really shows the um, effort put into these at the time. All right guys, so if you're interested in one of these pieces, make sure you check us out at apexgunparts.com. We've got a good selection at the time of this video, but like everything, we've got a limited quantity, so don't wait too long. Guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. It really does help us out, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.